folks in the house. How's everybody doing? Good morning. Is my Jim Beam coffee going on? My uh, Dollar uh, Tree uh, restocked, so I was very pleased on that because it was kind of looking like it was disappearing on me. So I was able to get... Uh, I just know it's something that's going to end, and it's like, yeah, I'm going to try to enjoy it as much as possible. And uh, our Kroger store, they have these chocolate croissants. These things are good, but you get like six in a pack. Yes, they're so light, you can go through, go through the whole thing. $3.99, but... I decided to treat myself with a little something different. But it's a croissant with chocolate, chocolate drizzle on it. And it's pretty decent. Dreary kind of day today. It's raining. Snow's melting. Snow looks like junk. Uh, dirty. And kind of has that. Even though it's January. It kind of has like end of February, March kind of thing, maybe when snows, March, I'll go March. But that's the way that is. And I get a kick out of my YouTube is the previous video, which I kind of had a somewhat of a good time with, uh, got all kinds of views on it. And then my next video, I go look at my counts. So it's only a few. All of a sudden it starts going down. And so one day it was up a couple, then the next day I look, it went down, then it went back up, then it went back down. I kind of get a kick out of YouTube and their algorithms or whatever it is. It's like, I, I just don't get it. I almost feel like I'm going to title this some kind of like, some just letters and numbers for the hell of it, just to see what the hell happens. I may do that just for the hell of it. Is see sports wise, uh, UWM basketball women's and men. I think they're about the same. Uh, the men's basketball has turned around uh, since it got into Horizon League, and I am eating this because the chocolate's melting. <laughs> um, the beginning of the season, uh, UWM men's basketball, uh, uh UW <laughs> Milwaukee, uh. I didn't think they had a chance. They were getting blown out and and I just got one more bite, so I apologize. Usually don't something you just can't eat right away. Have to chew a little bit. But they are good. Ah So back to UWM basketball. They basically, in the beginning, it seemed like there was no teamwork or there was some kind of uh, power struggle. It's kind of for how it was being presented, but it seems like things have either players have matured or understand their roles. Uh, that It looks like they're, they've at least turned a corner. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, they seem to be doing okay. Uh, women's basketball... Again, they almost have, I think, identical records, almost. Oh, uh, what else? Um, prices at the grocery store, I kind of, meat-wise, I kind of up in the air on what the hell's a good deal and what's not. Uh, I'm still kind of, with inflation and stuff, um, like pork and beef, I kind of am up in the air with on what de good deals are. And... Uh, Clancy's at Aldi's, I recommend that. Um, they they come sometimes throw out some. Yeah, I guess I can do this because what the heck? Give me a minute. Ah. Like their Fritos, I apologize. I was looking at Clancy's corn chips and they were like 
two dollars and Frito Lay's is like four something. And if you try the corn chip, it isn't that much difference. But every once in a while, Clancy's will have. Different. I haven't tried these, so I can't tell you. Um, I don't. I don't know if they're just trying for the market to see if people enjoy them or not. Uh, but I came across buffalo wings. I kind of, and they were affordable. Uh, Parmesan garlic, and then some. Again, a gar a garlic Parmesan for a pretzel and uh, bacon habanero. So they got different things uh, for snacks if you're looking to try something different, but the basics, if you're looking to cut at least half price on your snacks, uh, Clancy's chips, and uh, save a lot. Theirs is, uh, I, it's Higgins, I think, the I, JD Higgins. Um, their, their chips aren't that bad either. Um, I don't know about going like through each one corn chip and um, but uh, cheese curls. But if you are looking to save some money, I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> so that's that. Yeah, this video again. I go off the cuff on this stuff, people. And uh, some <laughs> from Fat, he goes, "Yeah, did you look at your video?" I like, nope. I just go. It's the way it works, and um, I mean, I've done some where it's like, yeah, this didn't work. Like this one, I should be probably redoing, but I'm just going with it. I, I enjoy it. I have fun with it. Something to do. Um, you kind of get to watch something a little different than what the people are uh, spewing out of their mouths, which I kind of wanted to talk about, but I kind of want to get on uh, editorial I don't know. See what you think if I should talk about politics, if anybody wants to comment, say. And it's not to tell you to vote for somebody, but just to talk about it in general. I don't know if you guys want to say yes or no to that. Um, I go on my soapbox every once in a while, and I'm that close. And I still may do it just because it, it frustrates me. Uh, movie talk. Um, and I wish I could, again, it's... It's so light that you can't really see outside uh, how gloomy it is. It kind of makes it lo it looks better this way. Uh, looks like it's you know bright out. Um, some movies that again obscure, and I end up finding one that uh, is a remake. Uh, it's a foreign film uh, that Netflix, I guess, has done. So let's see. We're gonna start with oh a f old movie. Not to be honest, it is now an old movie, Silverado. I know I probably have talked about this, but one night I decided to watch a somewhat of a Western Scott Glenn, Denny Glover, um, Brian Dennehy. If, if you're looking for a good Western, I recommend it. It's, it was done in the 80s, if I remember right. Um, but I get a kick out of it. It's like crazy. Now that's almost considered a classic because it's over four years. Um, then I'll go uh, sci-fi. This ended up being, I think, a Russian film, 2011, uh, The Darkest Hour. Uh, some American tourists are in Russia, and an uh, alien invasion occurs, and uh, not bad. I mean, if you're looking for you know a sci-fi movie that's uh, out there, I think these were on Tubi. Uh, again, I'm so behind on my movies, I don't know if they're... They're still out there, or if it's something you have to pay for them, or something like that to stream. But usually, I watch Tubi. They've cleaned up their act a little bit. They were getting off the rails with their commercials, but uh, they've come back a little bit. I'm not gonna say it's the best, but compared to about two years ago, they really went off the the rails with their commercials. And I think uh, Pluto was another one. I think they still are a little commercial with their movies but uh they've they i think a few of these channels realize that it's like yeah we got to cut back a little bit okay so i got that and then uh 2017 the crash it's a cyber attack uh decent movie again yeah i think any of these movies were not thumbs down um 
Then I have some call dispatchers, 911s. And I'll start with uh, 911 Nightmare. I think it's called, yeah, I'm just going to, it was 2016. Um, a dispatcher kind of blows off a 911 call and ends up having to kind of do a mystery kind of thing. Um, okay, movie to watch. I mean, you know, it's not uh, over the top great or it's not something that you're going to be like, oh, this movie stunk. And then the, my next, last one is a Danish film, 2018, The Guilty. And this movie, I guess, is being was remade 2021 by it's Netflix uh, did it, uh, the remake. But a dispatcher ends up getting a call and has to track down what's going on. And I don't really want to go into much, but he kind of has uh, his little demons too that he's dealing with. Um, but those are my movies and I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. And again, I know my videos aren't uh, top notch or anything like that, but I just do it to you know, say hi to people and get people to kind of take a break from the nonsense that's out there and craziness. Um, that I guess I'm spewing my own kind of craziness. So thanks again, everybody. Um, I, I've got a few new subscribers, so I appreciate anybody there. So whoever's watching at the end of the video, I appreciate it. So uh, let it go. And uh, yeah, a little timely on this uh, video and uh, enjoy. I appreciate everybody that watches. So thanks again and have a good one.